Excel map is a simple to use add-in to create great maps in Excel. At the start we have two sheets available, map and data. The data sheet is responsible for data input. To create a filled map you just enter the data in the G column. The example map of France has two administrative levels, regions and departments. We will start with departments. Once the data is on place we go to map sheet, click choose colors and define color boundaries. There are plenty of ready to use color palettes, but still, the user can create a new one. By clicking Edit Colors you get the User Colors menu where you can choose any color for your legend. Users palette can be found at the end of the list. When you click the shape, you get a message with label. This text can be defined freely, an interesting function is the categories coloring, you define names, colors, and put in numbers from 1 to 30. To make sure your data is correct, you can use a validation function. What if you would like to compare multiple maps, for example for different years? Use values columns to prepare the data. Next use choose data range option to switch between years. If the map contains two map levels, like French regions and departments, you can easily switch between levels using visibility column. Enter 1 to make the shape visible or 0 to make it disappear. Then, use hide shapes option. The second way to show data on this Excel map is a bubble chart. In the data sheet you can find two columns responsible for bubble size and for bubble color. Then turn on the chart and set the desired size of the points. The sheet data contains also a column I, that can be used to determine the color of the bubble. This function works the same as filled maps coloring. You can describe map points by any label defined in the column T of the data sheet. Then format the labels as any other Excel chart labels. Another way to show data on map, this time to be compared within groups, is column chart and pie chart. For these functions use also values columns in the data sheet. When you turn on the charts you can define their default size, move the group and even save position of individual charts. It's also easy to change chart colors. Pie charts are very similar but you can decide to differentiate chart size by total sum of values. What if you had just the postcodes? You can quickly assign postcodes to your regions and show the values on map within few seconds. Just insert the postcodes database, you can find it in zip data sheet. Then paste your data into zip sheet and run the assigning process. At the end draw your data on the map. There are many more options in the software, 
like adding custom text labels. You can also export the image to a picture file or compare your data with statistical data, like number of inhabitants.